What's up y'all, it's your boy Shazne. Today I'll be sharing my thoughts on another Indian cinema masterpiece starring Kamal Hassan. Shocking. Uh, Guna. And this film is directed by Sandana Bharati, uh, written by Sabjan, uh, dialogues by Balakumaran. Of course, starring Kamal Hassan, Ulag Naigan, Kamal Hassan, Yadi Now, one of the gods of cinema. Starring uh, Rekha uh, Roshini, uh, cinematography by Vinu, and and music by, of course, uh, legend Ilya Raja. Guna, man, man, man. Um, you know, many great filmmakers have spoken about this film for many, many years, and I got to revisit this film, I think, a few years ago. I remember watching it when I was a kid, but I couldn't remember much of it, and I revisited it a few years ago. Um, and it was truly a transcending experience because uh, I remember how great the film was, you know, people always talk about it, but it wasn't fresh in my mind and revisiting it at that point, And of course, again and again, what Guna was able to accomplish with this story, it is nothing short of a revolutionary feat in my opinion, because the idea behind this film could have really gone wrong. I mean, it's a very fine line in which they play ahead with, right? With this character, who's very complex. He's wild and crazy, yet the most humane of them all. And then he kidnaps this woman because he was attracted to her and thinks of her as this, uh, the specific person in his head. And then we have to somewhat connect with that, sympathize with that. And at the end of the movie, walk out heartbroken it's a daunting task in many levels but in terms of the performance that's where everything settles down for me because without Ulaganag and Kamal Hassan's performance in here the movie wouldn't work because he could have really made it over the top because this movie feel as grounded as possible so his performance had to be grounded also wild to his nature. So the balance he was able to strike so effortlessly, and that is the word. It's so effortless. And for that, for every for any film, any performance to look effortless, it probably required the most work. It was probably that most hardest aspect of it all. When a film looks effort effortlessly so good, so well paced, probably took the most time and effort to put it all together. And the way the filmmaker was able to compliment Kamalasa's performance because I feel like the camera and the character are really in love with one another. You know, the camera moves the way Guna moves. And it's like, it's so immersive and emotionally engaging in levels that not many films from Indian cinema can really, really do for you. And the brilliance in the, in the moment he meets this girl, the music by Leila Raja, I think this is one of, you know, top three in terms of songs and the and the score behind this film one of one of the greatest Ilya Raja works and that says a lot because he's done some insane work uh you know over his career this this man is a legend so we all know so the moment he meets the music the composition of the shot everything is so iconic every single set piece and sequence in this film is absolutely iconic on a writing level on a directing level, on a composition level, on a music level, and in a performing level. Once that whole story takes place, the way the love story is executed, it still boggles my mind because I don't think anybody could have done better. I don't think anybody can even, even touch this and try to replicate or attempt this because it's so dangerous, it is so risky, it could fall flat and it could be somewhat, I guess, disturbing, but it is so beautiful and epically tragic and he just you cannot believe what the film is doing to you you cannot believe how emotionally you are engaged with every single shot and frame and this character journey and, and what he does and the choices this character makes it's, it's insane that it feels so natural to him but also same time is very chaotic in execution and the final act of the movie you go through so much emotionally 
you have every even though you've seen the film multiple times when you're there in the third act watching it you're still hoping for a different outcome or you're still hoping for something else to happen because you're still at the edge of your seat terrified and it's so visceral the the way you know sometimes you know in movies when they try to execute miscommunication or misunderstanding it could be very frustrating but in here it's done in a way where it is it is frustrating but it is not irritating you know because frustration can turn into irritation but frustration also can be a great experience and here again it's all about that balance i do not know how they were able to execute that prospect the way the camera moves you know the scene where he's at this uh hospital place and there's like a 360 shot and again it's like when you ha it's like it reminds, it, I, I know it's a very different uh, thing to compare it with but take a film like john wick right when you got Keanu Reeves doing his own stunts in that way, or if you take Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible movies and a lot of his action films and whatnot, when an actor is so good, you can literally do anything with the camera to elevate their performance or, or best complement their performance or even not even do much and make it look super effortless. For example, that 360 shot is just a camera doing a 360 shot. Everything about that scene is Kamal Hassan. It's Kamal Hassan. So that scene, it, it, it feels like it's a genius piece of work. It is incredible. It is effortless, but it is all, it's all him. And the camera is loving his performance. The camera is complimenting. They're both complimenting one, one, one another. And for that to be executed in such level, an exciting prospect. And in many of the scenes, people always refer to because it is a reference film. And to understand Kamal Hassan, you know, Kamal Hassan has delivered some of the greatest performances you could, you could ever watch. Right, is one of the gods of world cinema. Gunnar is for me is right up there, probably top three. And because my favorite, I think for those that doesn't know, is Hairam. I think Hairam is my favorite Kamal Hassan performance. Also, is my favorite Indian film of all time. is an absolute masterpiece. But Gunnar is right up there for me. You know, um, I'm kind of going back and forth with um, Rala Bandhan and Gunnar. But I think I might go with Gunnar because it's just. It's just that line that he was able to play with the innocence that he was able to emote internally but also feel somewhat dangerous that the balance of like you don't know you because you know he's ultimately an innocent person within his head but some of his actions could be dangerous so you don't know what is he going to do at what point you know to trust him and like a lot of the complexity he brings without saying a word right like you can really feel the warmth in his heart and that level of performance that level of internal performance is hard to to come across it's really really hard and he does it so beautifully like the the song right the song uh sequence uh, the third act where they're writing the letter and they're singing it's one of the beautifully executed scene and musical piece you could ever see in any film ever guna will be a timeless classic a forever masterpiece. Um, Guna is, it shows the best and the worst in us. And again, it, it's one of the most immersive, engaging, emotional movie experiences you could ever watch. I've spoken about this many, many times. It's just really a crime that a lot of these masterpieces came before I think the audience were necessarily ready. Like if you, if you check the history behind uh, Alavandan or Hiram or Guna's release, we can all agree it didn't get the recognition that he deserved, the success that it deserved, the celebration that he deserved. I mean, he got the awards and everything, but ultimately money speaks. Money tells the producers and the people what they want to see. And the fact that most of the audience didn't want to see Guna, Alavan, Dan, Hiram, it's or unbasivam, it is mind boggling. This man is a legend. That's one of the reasons I've been really preaching here with Vikram. Hopefully a lot of people can go back and revisit some of his movies. Like he also made a silent film, an incredible silent film uh, called Pushbox. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. And I know many people knows about Guna, heard about Guna, probably has never seen Guna. But this movie is an absolute masterpiece. Especially if you've seen it many years ago, try rewatching it again recently. You'll be, you'll be blown away by the level of restriction like the way they were able to hold back and push through like they were able to balance everything out in terms of the writing execution and performance and music it is absolutely an incredible beautiful piece of art 
and uh, that's that's my thoughts uh, something that I really wanted to share so with that said guys let me know what y'all thought of Guna if you've seen it if you haven't let me know if you're gonna watch it and if, if you do or whenever you do come back and share your thoughts because that's one of the best parts is hearing your thoughts uh vikram first day for a show cannot wait yadi now can't wait to go out there and celebrate come last it's been a while it's been a long while and vikram is a film that i feel like he deserves and the success is going to deliver hopefully again if you haven't seen the film but i have faith in lokesh in delivering uh that experience so with that said guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this like comment subscribe hit the notification bell and see you guys on my next one salute